Hello all, Shoestring here. Today I want to talk to you about my cheap, inexpensive, and we'll call this a substitute for a solar power station. There's many solar power stations out there, and most of them look pretty good, but they're all extremely expensive. And I want to show you how, since many power stations are now being static, like this one, just sitting here, how inexpensive and easy this can be for a fraction of the price. So, right now I have it hooked up to this nice little arrow garden, which is indoors, and it has a light, and a circulatory system that runs water all the time, even when the light goes off. It's programmable. So it has to run all the time. So, or be plugged in and have power all the time, which doesn't always work. As you know, power goes in and out constantly. We just lost it for an hour or so the last couple of days. And because of that, this will go out if it's just plugged into the wall and have the regular grid power. So not wanting to spend hundreds of dollars on a little power station. Now I do have some and they are good for some uses, but they're very expensive for what they do. So what do I have here? I have a 100 amp hour 12 volt battery. You can see right there, right? I got it from Fly Power. The reason I like this one for this function is it has its own plug-in right here, right? And that's for charging it and it can be charged right into the wall. It's plugged in right now, right? You can see batteries charging and it will keep the battery charged all the time. Then of course, when the power goes out, the battery is 100% charged and this battery will run that little arrow garden for a very long time. I also have it, have the battery connected to this 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter. And uh, this inverter is from Harbor Freight. Uh, any type of inverter will do, right? As long as it will run, you run your system. Now, this is quite large inverter for that arrow garden. And the reason I put this here is because if the power goes out for a long term, I can use extension cords, plug many other devices, refrigerators, coffee pots, TVs, fans, anything like that into this pure sine wave inverter, right? Using extension cords. And I can run a great many things, which is why I picked this one. Now, of course, for less, pr less money, you can get a much smaller one. You want this to, you want to size it to what you actually want it to run. But this is much less expensive, much less expensive than if you got a Blue Eddy or a Echo Flow or, you know, any of, any of those, those top brands. Very, very expensive. And this will do practically the same thing. And even if you don't have a battery like this one, where you can plug it in on the side and just plug it into the wall and keep the battery charged, right? You can also get a regular battery charger for your lithium battery. Make sure it's made to charge lithium batteries, of course. And you can hook it right up to the terminals, right? Right up to those terminals and plug that into the wall. That will work just as well. I just like this one because it's on the side. I just like, and I just like that because it's out of the way on the top. But I have several others that work the exact same way, right? Exact same way for when the power goes out. And that is my cheap, inexpensive substitute, I'll call it, power station. And you also can do something like this. The price will be as much as you want to spend on how big of a battery, right? You don't have to get a 100 amp hour. You can get a 50 amp hour or smaller. And what size inverter you are using. It only takes a couple of wires, right? This, these happen to be four gauge. 
these wires right here are four gauge. They go from the battery to the inverter. And that's all. Then the arrow garden right there is plugged in to the inverter. That's it. Two cables. And then the charger plugged into the wall. And we are now good. So when the power goes out, this arrow garden, which is really lovely, by the way, uh, stays on and will continue to function. And like I said, anything else I want to plug into it. So if you have any questions, any comments, please put it down in, in the comment section. I'll put a listing to this battery in the, uh, in the description. I'm not sure if I can get a link to the Harbor Freight uh, inverter. But I'll take a look and see if I can. And if I can, I'll put that in there too. Okay, so please like and subscribe if you like these type of videos. If you know someone this might be helpful to. Please share. Shoestring out.